My name is Chad Barbe. I'm the Atomic Aquatic Southeast Sales Representative. Today I'd like to speak to you about atomic regulators. To begin with, the Atomic Aquatics Regulator family has been garnered as the industry's top performing regulator the industry has ever seen. It has won all the industry scuba testing for performance. What Atomic believes in is that you should have a regulator that performs the best and will never go down on you so you can enjoy the dive experience. The atomic regulators here on the table, the neat thing about them is, even though the price points are different, they all breathe and perform the same. So what the consumer ends up purchasing is a metal combination which will determine the price, but again emphasizing performance being the same. We start with the centerpiece regulator and this is our B2. The B2 first stage is a brass and chrome first stage with five low pressure ports on a swivel. The internals of the regulator are made of a non-corrosive metal that, regardless of the saltwater exposure and lack of cleaning, will still never ever corrode. We take the hose and we couple that with our swivel hose, and this swivel is patented. This gives you a 30 degree bend with a 360 degree rotation, making this the most comfortable regulator in the mouth for the diver. Inside the regulator, all the component parts are made out of titanium, which is nitrox compatible up to 40%. The reason we use a titanium is because titanium is the strongest, most impervious metal known to man and will never ever corrode in salt water. Inside the regulator are two patent features that you'll be able to see on a CAD animated movie file. The first one is the automatic flow control that sits right here in this part of the regulator and here, and it actually is the vein that you'll see inside the mouthpiece, there's a vein in there, and that's where the automatic flow control works. But basically what it does is adjust the regulator so it'll breathe better the deeper you go. The second one is on the inside of the regulator on the breathing tube, and it's called the seat saving orifice. Basically not allowing the regulator to ever go down, even with lack of service. From the B2 regulator, we move up to the T2X, which is an all titanium regulator and the industry's only all titanium regulator. It's machined from 100% titanium billet. Also, all the regulators are made in the USA at our, at our factory Atomica in Oceanside, California. So an all titanium first stage with the same non-corrosive metals in the first stage, coupled with the all titanium swivel hose and all titanium metal parts, again, with the automatic flow control and the seat saving orifice. The T2X is the Ferrari, is the Rolls Royce, is the Mercedes of all regulators. For the people who can't afford the Z2X and or the B2, it's quite all right, we don't sacrifice performance, we bring in the Z2. It actually performs identical to these two regulators except we take a few features off. Instead of using all titanium, we use zirconium coated tubing in here, which still gives you zero corrosion or corrosion resistance like the titanium does, but less the cost. We remove the swivel hose, and then we use seven fixed ports on our low pressure ports here, bringing this at a, at a price that just about every new diver can afford.